What's poppin'? It's the beast of rap, rock solid with the best hands in the rap game. Though I'm a rap artist, I'm also a natural drug-free bodybuilding champion. I've been boxing for over 20 years. I'm a fight fanatic. Been watching MMA, UFC since the 90s. I've been lifting these heavy-ass weights and watching boxing since the 80s. So I know my shit. This is the channel you come to when you want to see boxing and MMA content. When you want to see the fight reactions, the fight reviews, the breakdowns, and the tale of the tapes with no bias. And not only that, you get to hear some dope-ass motivational, inspirational music by your boy Rock Solid. I write all my own lyrics. I'm real in everything that I say. And I also produce, film, direct, edit all my own music videos. So what the fuck are you waiting for? Subscribe. Yo, it's Rock Solid. Look, I'm going to make this video short, unlike my other videos. Okay. I don't want nobody to get offended by this, okay? But I feel the need to say this. I am seeing people actually trying to clown and laugh and say, ha, ha, ha. Francis Ngannou only sold 60000 67,000 pay-per-view buys. Ha, 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 ha. It's a flop. It, was, it failed. A failed event. Glad I didn't get it. Glad I didn't buy it. Let me tell you something. As a man who has been in the boxing since the 80s, the UFC since UFC won, when it used to be in the porn section behind the curtains. As a teenager, me and my cousin sneaking to get this video of guys beating each other up, seeing a skinny hoist Gracie tap out these big motherfuckers and nobody knew what the fuck BJJ was at the time. As someone who has been in both sports, his whole entire life. I would like to say this. First off, Francis got his money. It doesn't matter how many buys. He got his money that he was going to get. Okay? He got the fight that he wanted. Him leaving the UFC, that was the main thing. Will he get this Tyson Fury fight? Will he get to box? He got that. He got the bag. His stock went up after the fight. So I have to say this to the people who are laughing and trying to clown that it only sold 67,000 pay-per-view buys. The 67,000 people who bought this shit witnessed history. <laughs> Witness greatness. I am laughing at all the millions of people who actually did not order this pay-per-view card. <laughs> Look, I get it. I get it. You didn't want to get it. But I am positive that the people that are laughing and clowning got Jake Paul and Nate Diaz, which was a terrible fight. Got Tyson Fury versus Jake Paul, which was a terrible fight. Got Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva or Tyron Woodley. To not want, I have to question, and look, I got respect for y'all. I love y'all. This is only for the people who's trying to clown that it only sold 67,000 buys. So if you didn't get it, and you're not clowning, this is not for you. This is for the people that clown, okay? Because I get it, because some people can't afford it, right? Some people don't want to spend their hard-earned money on that. I fucking get it. So this is not just to clown people who didn't get it. This is to clown people who didn't get it, and they're trying to clown Francis Ngannou, right? And Tyson Fury on this. But it's mainly under a post about Francis Ngannou. Why would you, out of all the crossover events, if you have ever gotten a Jake Paul versus an MMA fighter, 
ever. Or you got Evander Holyfield versus Vitor on Triller or Ben Askren versus Jake Paul. If you got those, right, and you're trying to clown this 67,000 pay-per-view buys, you are one of the dumbest motherfuckers on this planet. And I will tell you why. You are talking about Francis Ngannou, who is and still is. I don't give a fuck who has the title now. If you have not beaten Francis Ngannou for the belt, you're not the UFC champion. As much respect as I have for John Jones and root for John Jones, I don't look at him like he's the UFC heavyweight champ. I just don't. It's Francis Ngannou. Until a motherfucker beats Francis, you're not the champ. This is the king of MMA heavyweight champ versus the best right now of this generation as far as heavyweights in Tyson Fury. You got the best from both both major combat sports. And out of all the crossover events that have been made, this is the real one. This is the one. This is not a YouTuber versus an MMA fighter. This isn't a low-level boxer or a low-level MMA fighter going against the best boxer ever. This is, right now, who people consider the heavyweight champion of the world and best MMA fighter right now at heavyweight. The 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 last UF, the real UFC champ versus Tyson Fury, the greatest lineal heavyweight champion of this era. And they are fighting each other. And you didn't get it? Out of all the crossover events between MMA and boxing, this was the one that any smart motherfucker would actually invest in and say, I got to see this shit. Not Jake Paul YouTuber versus a retired 40, over 40-year-old 40 MMA fighter who ain't even a fucking striker, but a wrestler. <laughs> or somebody who ain't got no hands at all like Ben Askren. But this is somebody who knocks motherfuckers' heads off in the UFC. And Tyson Fury, who has knocked out his last four opponents, meeting together in a ring. And you didn't get it. The sixty-seven thousand pay, the, the sixty-seven thousand people who ordered this shit, and they still got it in their DVR, like myself, are blessed people. We witnessed history. We witnessed greatness. The whole car was dope. I think everybody got knocked the fuck out on that car to see all the legends, the performances, all the boxing and MMA legends. This was a historical event. This is some shit that nobody ever seen. This was without a doubt the biggest event of the year. There is not going to be an event this year that's bigger. There's not going to be an MMA fight or a boxing match that's bigger or more talked about than this. You have to feel stupid seeing everybody who ordered it, the 67,000 people talking about this shit, seeing how it's trending, how the world is shocked. A shock the world moment and you didn't order it and you try to clown the 67,000 bars, the 67,000 people, I'm one of those motherfuckers. I am so happy. It was so worth the fucking money. <laughs> it was so fucking worth it. The event and it watch history live in real time. No streaming. I didn't stream shit. I didn't illegally stream nothing. I watched that shit clear as fucking day. On my big ass TV screen. And DVR that shit. And I've been watching it every fucking day. Even the walkouts of Tyson Fury and Ngannou was fucking a magical moment. Anybody, have you seen all the stars that was there talking about this was some historical. Everybody saying I ain't never seen no shit like this before in all of combat sports. So the clown, the 67,000 buys is fucking stupid. It's stupid. I actually 
feel sorry for anybody who thought this fight was going to be a joke and didn't and didn't order it. Now you know. I bet you order the next one. I bet you the next thing got new fight. I bet you. I bet you pay for this shit. <laughs> Why the fuck would you not want to see the best UFC heavyweight fighter out right now? Who went to PFL. He's still the fucking UFC champ. Versus the boxing lineal heavyweight champion. Why would you not want to see that? If you're a fight fan. If you're truly a fight fanatic like myself. Why would you not want to. This is a real fight. It's not a fluke fight. It wasn't a circus fight. None of those motherfuckers are clowns. None of them. Tyson Fury ain't no clown. And Gano ain't no clown. Neither of them are to be fucked with. In their respective sport. Why would you ever think this was going to be a circus fight? Why would you think this was going to be like Jake Paul, Tyron Woodley? Why would you think it would be some shit like that? Why? So why would you think it would be like Nate Diaz and Jake Paul? Why would you think this is some misfit shit when you got Salt Poppy versus KSI or KSI versus Tommy Fury? Why would you think it would be some clown shit like that? Well, you got dangerous ass UFC heavyweight champ Francis Ngannou versus the lineal heavyweight champ of the world Tyson Fury. Why would you think that that shit was going to be weak? I don't know. I'm proud to be one of the motherfuckers that invested in this fight. I'm rock solid. I'm out. Steady, steady, solid. The only way I know is beast mode. I'm the monster that unlocked with a cheese.